Hi, I'm Martin Gonzalez. So glad you're here. Today we're going to talk about hope. Hope is being able to see that there is light despite all the darkness. And I want to share that with you because I had an epiphany today. And that is this. China has been observing what the interactions between Russia, Ukraine, and by extension, the United States and the rest of the rest of the world. So two weeks in, China has a pretty good idea about how we would respond to China taking over Taiwan, which ostensibly they've already done. So as I look at that, I think of the hope that there is, because I had a question and it had been uh, sort of nagging at me for a long time. And that is, would our own countrymen in the United States take up arms against an armed citizenry. Now, what we've seen in Russia is that soldiers who have been hired to work at the border and invade the Ukraine have gone in, some of them willingly, some of them out of duty, and some of them have just gone into the Ukraine and surrendered to the Ukrainian soldiers the best they can because they either don't have food or they don't have water. They're literally dying. Uh, in Ukraine. And so they surrender, they give up their tanks and other uh, equipment and turn themselves over to the Ukrainians. And that's encouraging to me because as I see that the Russians, the civilian population don't have a, they don't have a taste and a stomach for what is happening, what Putin is doing. They are leaving Russia and we're going into Finland, right? But the Ukrainians are leaving uh, Ukraine, right? There's over 2 million people who have left the Ukraine. So the ones that have remained have been uh, fighting back and forth with the soldiers that are there in uh, Russia. Now, what does that mean to me here in the United States? Well, what it means is that it's likely that the U.S. soldier who would be called upon in the event of, say, martial law, which, by the way, the president signed away our Constitution and replaced it with martial law back in March of 2000. So we've now been living within martial law for the last two years. And who's to say what the president, regardless of the party, would do with that? Once you have martial law, it's very hard to give up. And so my thought, my concern has always been that, well, what if our own um, U.S. military was called upon to control the people here that are civilians. And it, I'm encouraged by human nature. I'm encouraged by human life that, you know what? Perhaps there would be many who would put down their weapons and say, I'm not going to fire on a fellow countryman. Now, we're prepared. They're prepared. I say we. The civilians are prepared with firearms. But perhaps we might not do it either, knowing that it's American against American. And nobody wants to see that. So we need to remain strong. I'm excited. I'm hopeful that the future may give us uh, a, a bright day every day, knowing that uh, what's happening in Russia is also being observed around the world. And perhaps in the United States, we'll take care of each other instead of against fighting against each other, as was done back in the Civil War. My name is Martin Gonzalez. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.